Hello travelers, welcome to or welcome back to Traveling Beyond Boundaries. My name is Michelle and today I want to share with you guys my packing mistakes that I made for my daughter's first cruise. So first off, this was not my first cruise and I do a lot of research and I felt like I had most things kind of figured out, but when you're traveling in a new way with your child for the first time, there's things you might not know. Also, my daughter has changed a lot since the last time we traveled in a big way, which was last year. We did a huge road trip last year. Um, so things, things are a little bit different. She's gonna be making noises beside him. You okay? Anyway, I wanted to share with you guys some of my packing mistakes, just to give you an idea of what we personally used and didn't use and what I would change in the future. Um, this is very much geared towards us and not necessarily might not be useful for you guys, but I figured I would share anyway. So the first thing is, is I brought too many bags. So if you see my other video about quitting carry on only. So I originally packed for this cruise with two bags, one a cabin zero 40 something liter big carry on bag. And then a smaller, I think 28 liter cabin zero as a personal item with the plan of bringing on my daughter's stroller, which I'll talk about that later. So I had three things I was planning on carrying on the bag, bring, carrying on to the plane. On the way to the airport, our flight was canceled, so we had a delay of flights. And so I decided that was too much because just carrying it into the hotel and doing all those things, it was too much for me. Because I also have to carry my daughter onto the plane. She cannot walk onto a plane. So, good times. I was like, I cannot, I can't do this. I had like one bag strapped onto another bag and then carrying her or wearing her. Anyway, it was a little much. So my brother convinced me that the person I want to be is not always the person I need to be. And I went to Walmart and bought a suitcase. Um, just a cheap, I think it's 28 inch rolling spinner suitcase. Um, anyway. So in the end, I had too many bags because I had, I have a list. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my, at my list here. Um, so I had my big cabin zero bag, which I did use on the plane. I had my smaller cabin zero bag, which I threw into my suitcase. I did use that one during the trip as like a beach bag. Um, otherwise I probably would have left it in the car, but I did use it as a beach bag. Anyway, I didn't need so many bags. Um, and then I had my three liter cabin zero bag, which is like a crossbody bag. And I love that one for the plane because I can throw passports easily in there. There's the RFID blocking, um, good amount of pockets. Um, just, I, I really, I love that bag. I'll, I can do a full review on it some other time, but I had that one. And then I also had a duffel bag because we flew with just the diapers we needed for the flight. And then at my parents' house, we stayed there first, which would be no different than if I was staying at a hotel. I then bought diapers at the cruise port kind of area, like our final flight destination. So I did not have to fly with so many diapers. So that was folded. It's like a travel duffel bag that was folded and in inside of my suitcase. And then on top of that, I had a skip hop bag, um, that has a harness for my daughter and a, a leash. And so I knew I wanted to bring that. So that way she could walk around the ship, um, safely, especially She's obsessed with water, so need to be safe. Anyway, so that one I brought on the plane as well. So onto the plane, I brought two bags, and then I had two bags packed inside my suitcase. I had too many bags, and then I ended up bringing um, just just too many bags with us on the ship, and just pack it. Like it took up too much space in my suitcase. Anyway, next next trip to Alaska, I'm bringing my suitcase. Um, I was on the fence. I was like, I probably could do it, but no, I'm bringing my suitcase. And then um, I'm hoping to bring the diapers that I need for that cruise in my suitcase. So I won't need to bring the duffel bag, but worst case, I bring the duffel bag. And then I haven't decided what I'm bringing on the plane yet, but I want to keep the plane as light as possible. Um, just flying with my daughter now versus the last time I flew with her. Um, she is bigger, she is heavier, she is more active. So lighter, the better. I also found that as much as I loved my cabin zero, um, three liter. It just was too big to be walking around the ship with. Um, but like previous cruises, this video is going to be so ridiculously long. Previous cruises, I had like just a C-Pass card holder. Um, with this cruise, we went and bought the Wow Bands and our next cruise is with Princess, so we have a medallion. 
So we don't need to carry around our sea pass cards. But a difference between previous cruises and this is I filmed with my phone instead of a camera. So I didn't have a camera pouch holding a camera. I had my phone and I just didn't have anywhere to put my phone. I wear leggings like nonstop and I make the mistake of not buying leggings with pockets. So I had like nowhere to put my phone. So I was tossing it in the stroller, but then I was like, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Um, especially the stroller wasn't always with me. Sometimes it was with my brother or my parents, depending on who had my daughter. Um, so yeah, so it just was like really weird trying to figure stuff out. So I'm going to try to see what I have with me. Um, I used to have a really tiny, tiny purse, but I don't know if my phone will fit in it. So I'm going to see what bags I have and potentially just bring that for on the show. Um, the next thing that was a mistake was I brought too many diapers. Um, my plan was to fly to my cruise port, which in this case was my parents' house because we drew, drove to the cruise port from their house. So after flying, buy whatever diapers I need and then put them in this duffel bag and drive them to the cruise port. And that's kind of been my plan for all our cruises because I knew I wanted to carry on only. Um, and I did, just figured it was easier. But in the end, because I bought a box of diapers, I can't, you can't really pack how much you need. You have to pack what you have from the box. So um, I ended up with way too many diapers, way too many diapers. And that was including using diapers at my parents' house too. Um, so I, I ended up leaving all these diapers at my parents' house, which they'll then drive out to me whenever my dad comes in August. Um, but it just, it just ended up being way too many diapers. I didn't need it. And so for our upcoming cruise, I'm going to try to pack the diapers that I need. I'm going to try to vacuum seal them, um, and bring them because otherwise I might be buying a box that is too big. I might also see how much I can get delivered to the hotel for what price and for what the size boxes are for that area before I do stuff like that. But for the most part, I'm like, I can just vacuum seal them and bring them and then just do that. We'll see. I haven't decided completely yet what I'm going to do. Need to do some research. Um, the next thing I brought too much of was my daughter's toys. My daughter doesn't play like a typical kid, but she does have some toys that she likes. And I brought too many. I was like, I'm going to bring this and this and this and this and this. And she played with one toy. And then she has like a chewy um, thing that she chews on. And then the rest of the stuff just kind of stayed in the cabin or stayed in the stroller. She just wasn't really interested in it. Um, also on Royal, they had an indoor playground that she used quite a bit. I shouldn't say quite a bit. We used a few times. And they also had a place where she could borrow toys, but we never even did that because she just didn't need it. Um, again, this is very just us. And maybe your kids really love toys and need a lot of them, but there's so much going on that um, they probably, probably, so bring like some small toys. I also brought a book. I don't even know where that book is right now. I might have left that at my parents' house by mistake. Just realized that. Um, I brought a book and we used it at my parents' house, but not on the ship because we just, we were just so busy. We didn't get around to doing it. Anyway, next thing is very specific. Next few things is very specific. Well, maybe not. Anyway, my daughter has a feeding tube and I brought way too many supplies. Way too many. Um, I brought a 30 day supply for a 19 day trip. Um, but my daughter flips between gravity bags and syringes and I wasn't sure what we would like on the ship more, um, because we are trying to get her off of the feeding tube. So we aren't using it as much as we would have a while ago, but either way, um, whether we use it once a day or we use it 10 times a day, we use the same thing for three days and then we throw it out. That's just the way our, so our supply system is. So I brought enough syringes and bags to last us. 30 days. Well, syringes I bought enough to last us 20 days. But we actually didn't like using the bags very much. The bags kind of limited us to the room with doing it because you're bopping around to different venues, different restaurants and stuff like that. The main dining room, we didn't have a place to hang it. Um, buffet, there's no real place to hang it. You kind of get whatever seats you can get kind of thing. So we were using the syringe a lot more than anything else. Same with like on excursions or on the island we're not going to hang a bag somewhere. So um, I want to say that in the eight days of being on the ship, um, I feel like we used it maybe three times, um, if that. So 
And you still have to change the bag every three days. Yes. So just did not use it as much as I thought we were going to. And the, the bag that I store it all in is quite large. And that was my main issue with um, carry-on. Half of my carry-on bag was tube supplies. So by cutting down how many tube supplies I bring and not bringing that giant bag of supplies, um, potentially could do carry on only again, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to. I'm gonna lighten up my load because I know getting on and off the plane is a nightmare when I have a lot of stuff. So, so yeah, so for Alaska, I'm only bringing syringes and syringes I can use a bit longer, um, but I'm still, I'm gonna bring, we're gone for I think 13 days total, um, 11 nights on the ship and then pre-cruise stuff. So I'm probably just going to bring 13 days worth of stuff, which will be 15 days worth because one syringe every three days. So five syringes. Anyway, um, so yeah, so I'm just going to bring five syringes and that will be it. And then extension kits and accessories and all that fun stuff. But the gravity bags take up a lot more space and because I brought syringes and bags. Anyway, way too many tube supplies. I'm looking forward to ditching 99% of that. Um, also geared towards more towards my daughter is we brought reusable cups. We are trying to get my daughter off the feeding tube and to do that she needs to drink so much liquid, so much liquids in a day. We're not there yet. We are working on it. So don't think that she's getting rid of the tube anytime soon. I wish, but it's not, it's not gonna happen. So, um, we brought like specific cups for her that we were planning on washing and reusing and all that stuff. It turned out she was fine drinking from a straw. And that's another thing. I brought a reusable straw for her, also a nightmare to clean in a cruise cabin. So those are things that I'm not, I'm not gonna bring reusable cups anymore. I'm not gonna be using reusable straws. I will, however, be bringing um, disposable straws. My daughter, because she has feeding issues and has drinking issues, um, she needs like certain things. So those stupid compostable plat paper straws do not work for her at all. Um, and I think that's why I brought the reusable straw because I was like, oh, because if they have paper straws, we can do this. But Royal had nice compostable plastic straws. And I think I'm gonna go out and see if I can buy compostable plastic straws because that's what she needs. Um, but I feel like it'll be much easier just to walk around with some of those and then I can just chuck them after. I don't have to um, worry so much about getting them rinsed out. It's always, she only drinks juice. Um, judge me as much as you want. <laughs> We're working with a dietitian. Um, she needs liquids in her. Priority is liquids, whatever that liquid is. Um, so it's not like water that's just gonna dry out. It's juice, it gets sticky, it gets yucky. So I need to rinse them out and wash them out and I just can't keep up with that while traveling. So much better, um, like I said, I think I'm just gonna buy some, some disposable straws and travel with those. Um, in terms of clothes, <laughs> I brought not enough clothes for me. So doing carry-on only, like I said, on the way to the airport, I grabbed a suitcase to dump all the things in so my back would be lighter. But that means that I did not pack stuff from home. So I did not have enough clothes for me. Um, my plan was to hand wash my clothes, forgetting that things take forever to dry in high humidity, high humidity areas. So I only packed two outfits for me and then I wore an outfit. So I had three outfits and it just, the drying time took forever. So I did end up buying some t-shirts which um, help extend that time a bit, but I didn't pack enough for me. I think I wanna next time pack five outfits. Um, we are sailing on a ship that has self-serve laundry. Royal does not, Royal does not have self-serve laundry. I don't know why. I don't know why, it's annoying. Um, they do have the bag for 35 US, but with Princess they have self-serve laundry. I think my brother said it's like $3 to wash, $3 US to dry, which the three of us combined can do a load. So um, also they do have the laundry bag service, which um, with my status, I should get it for free, I think. Um, we'll see when I get on the ship. My status is a little weird as a travel agent, but also as a princess cruiser. Um, so anyway, so we'll see, but we have the self-serve laundry. So I'm probably going to bring my scrubba, um, just in case for like some quick washing stuff, but, um, we're going to probably do the self-serve laundry. Um, so I bought, um, True Earth, I think is the company has laundry strips. So I'm just going to bring, um, two or three of those. 
so that way we can do two or three loads of laundry um, and then that will be that. So five outfits for myself is kind of my plan. We are going to Alaska so the, the outfits will be a little bit warmer. Um, there will be a hoodie involved, like stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna definitely need to pack more for me because that did, did not work, did not work. On the other hand, I packed too much for her. Um, originally I packed five outfits for her um, and two and one pair of pajamas, but my mom, I knew had a pair of pajamas at her house already. Um, and then my mom bought her a bunch of clothes. I mean, I kind of helped that along, but we, we bought too much clothes. So my daughter had like, I don't know, like 10 outfits <laughs> for our seven day cruise. Too much. And even, and my whole thing was like, well, her outfits are small, her outfits are small, but they add up. They really do. Um, so definitely not, not bringing as many, she's taking her head, no. Not bringing as many outfits for Alaska. Again, I think I'm gonna aim for about five to seven or 11 night cruise and my daughter is messy. That's the biggest difference, but um, anyway. Yeah, what else? Um, I'm trying to read. Oh, the stroller. So the stroller I brought was a um, baby, what is it called? GB Pocket Plus City, all city stroller. It folds up really small. I really like the stroller, but I'm on the fence about bringing it on our next cruise. There's a few things with the basket and um, the folding and stuff. I wasn't a huge fan of it. So I think I'm going to bring my Mountain Buggy Nano on the next cruise. My, the reason I brought the other stroller, the reason that I bought the other stroller was because I wanted to carry on only and I wanted to be able to carry that onto the flight because I had issues in the past where they, I gate check the stroller and they don't gate check it. They send it all the way. So I wanted something I could bring on the flight. But like I said, I can't bring that many stuff on the plane. I just want to get on the plane as late as possible. So we're going to try bringing the Mountain Buggy Nano. Um, I have more accessories for it and we'll just see how that goes. Um, I also brought a shoe organizer, which I bought at Ikea on my way to the airport to organize clothes. But because I didn't have a lot of clothes, we ended up just using the drawers. Don't think I need to bring that again. And the diapers I kind of just used out of the duffel bag. Um, so the shoe organizer was okay, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, and the last thing I wish I brought more of was ducks. We did the cruising ducks hiding and I only brought two. Um, and I kind of wish that I brought more. So next cruise, I'm bringing probably five to 10 because um, that was super fun. My, my storage is running out. I need to get going. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what how you your cruise mistakes that you've made when packing before. Let me know if you can relate to any of these packing mistakes. And um, yeah, I'll do an update when I pack for Alaska on what I'm bringing, what I'm not bringing, and my favorite packing things. Things that I must bring on a cruise now that I've been cruising with my daughter. Anyway, we are leaving for Alaska in two weeks. Can't wait. I will see you guys later. Don't forget to follow on Instagram, Traveling Beyond Boundaries. Post updates there. Um, more, these videos tend to be more delayed just because of the scheduling. So anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye guys.